Hi everybody, so today I'm going to do another Bible review, but before we get started, I would like to remind you to make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure that you hit that little bell so that you'll be notified when I upload a new video. So today we're going to be looking at an NIV edition of the Bible. This one is going to be the NIV Thinline Bible. So it comes in a nice clamshell box. This one is going to be a buffalo leather, so a blue genuine leather in the buffalo it's a double column layout. We can see that it's got the nine point font. Now the bottom portion of this and the top part of the box almost have a wood grain look to it, which I think looks nice. And it's a little bit different texture than this center section that's smooth. So really nice packaging and it's a very thick, sturdy box. So it will definitely protect your Bible when it's not in use. I'm going to hold that right there in case you would like to pause and read that top section. And then we'll drop down and look at the features. Some of the ones that I do want to point out is that it's got the blue buffalo leather with raised spine hubs, Smith sewn and edge line construction, art gilded page edges with the gilt line in the perimeter stitching, two double sided satin ribbons. It is less than one inch thick. It's got a double column format, presentation page, eight pages of full color maps, words of Jesus in red, does have the comfort print typeface and a nine point font and one thing too that they say is it is the perfect everyday carry bible and it is a really good one for portability if the niv is your translation of choice there's our isbn number retail is 109.99 you can definitely find it for less and i will put a link in the description box now if this one is too small of a print for you they do also make this in a large print edition that has an 11 point font. So I will also link this one in the description box as well. All right, so this particular Bible here measures out at eight and seven eighths inches tall, five and three quarters inches wide, and it is just seven eighths of an inch thick. So you can see that is not very big. I mean, I don't have big hands, but that is definitely very portable and definitely makes a great everyday carry Bible. So we're gonna have blue head and tail bands. We've got our gold gilding. So that looks nice and it's kind of a satin finish on the gilding. Also same with that buffalo leather, it's more of a satin finish. And you might not be able to tell from looking so much at that, but I'm going to get you a close up of one that is not a satin finish so you can see what I mean. You can see that the light reflecting off that black one with it being shiny where this one that doesn't happen so it's more of a satin type finish but it's got a really nice look to it plus it kind of makes it really grippy so on our perimeter we've got our perimeter stitching we've got a really nice grain pattern super soft on the leather so really nicely done the color is a blue but it almost has a gray look to it so Depending on the light, it might look blue. Other lights, it might look kind of gray. And it actually matches the bottom color in my bedroom because I've got three-tone paint and the bottom portion of the wall almost is the same shade. So matches my bedroom. On the spine, we've got Holy Bible, NIV, and the Zondervan logo. And then we can see that we do have our raised hubs, which if you've watched my channel, you know that I love raised hubs on a Bible. All right, so we'll get to the inside here. It does tell us that it is a buffalo leather cover. I'm not sure what material this liner is. I'm guessing it's probably an imitation leather, but it could also be bonded. I'm not 100% sure. But we've got our gold gilt line all the way around the perimeter. This one is edge lined, so this liner is going to be tabbed up onto the block. And so these first few pages will be stuck together. Make sure you do not pull those apart. We will have our presentation page and we get into our title pages. This is going to be the 2011 version of the NIV. This Bible was printed in China. We will have our table of contents. Also have the list of the books in alphabetical order. We do have our preface. So if you've never read the NIV and you get one, make sure that you take a few minutes to read that. Then we'll get right into the Old Testament. One thing we can kind of see there is that blue art gilding against that gold gilt line, which I think that looks really nice. Then we get into our layout. So we've got a double column layout. So again, this one is going to have a nine point font. I'll get you 
a close up so you can see that. So nice size on the font. Now this one is not going to have any concordance or anything. So any types of translation notes or anything are going to be on the bottom right hand side of the page. So I will get you a close up of that. So again, really nice size for taking with you. Or if you like to read sitting in bed, you can hold that with one hand, no problem. Doesn't feel like it's going to flip over and close on itself. And again, we can see our gold gilt line. We can see our art gilding. Now this one, I do think that they probably cut the paper the wrong direction because of the wrinkling here. I'll get you a close up there. So keep in mind that that might happen if you purchase one. You may have that. You can kind of see the little bit of shadow there. So I don't know if that's what happened or if it got a little bit of moisture damage, but then it also kind of causes the pages to be somewhat stiff. So we can see there. So keep in mind that if you get one, you might have that same thing. It might just be some of the additions that I'm not sure. So we're going to get into the Psalms. We'll check out our first ribbon. So it is a deep dark blue but it is double-sided satin so i do like the color of the ribbon and i do like the fact that it is long enough to actually use i'll get you a close-up of both of the ribbons next to each other up against that cover so you can see the color of them so we've got a dark blue and the gold and that looks really nice up against that cover We'll also get you a close-up of the Psalms so you can see how those look. Now this one here, as you probably already can tell, it is not line matched. There might be some pages that just might happen to be line matched. But for the most part, it's not going to be. We are going to get back to our New Testament. We'll see our second ribbon, which is the gold one. So again, double-sided satin. If you have wrinkling on them, you can always iron them. And if you guys want me to do a video on how to iron out the wrinkles in the ribbon, let me know in the comment section and I can add that to my list of videos to do. Alright, so we are in the New Testament. We're going to see that we do have Words of Christ in red. So I do like a red letter Bible. I know some people don't, but I personally like it. It doesn't really matter to me one way or the other, as long as the red is done well. That's my only thing. You can kind of see... The signatures just from that right there so that's kind of neat we'll get back to the back of the bible and we'll see a couple things here if i can get a hold of the page so one thing we will see is that it is red letter all the way through to the end of revelation We will have a table of weights and measures, and then we get into our full color maps. We're going to have seven maps spread out onto eight pages. Now they will be on the glossy paper. But I will get you a close-up of the maps. So they're very readable. You can see everything very clearly. We can also see some stitching in the gutter there. So again, nicely done sewn binding. The art gilding there looks really nice. So seven maps spread out on eight pages, and then we get to the back of the Bible. So if the NIV is your translation of choice and you're looking for a everyday carry Bible in a binding that's going to hold up, this would be a good choice because it's super easy to pack around, great size, again only seven eighths of an inch thick with a nine point font. So easy to hold, easy to pack around. So, nice little Bible. I do really like the cover on it. So, again, this one is the NIV Thinline Bible in the blue genuine leather. It is the Buffalo Edition. There's another shot of the ISBN number, and I will link that one in the description box as well as the large print edition as well. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.